what's going to work better for catching raccoons? A store-bought trap or my homemade trap? That's what we're going to talk about today on the homestead. Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. This is Kevin and Rosie with Living Traditions Homestead. And today, we're getting ready for raccoon trapping season. Um, actually, it started November 15th uh, in here in Missouri. Uh, trapping season for raccoons starts on the 15th of November and it runs through January 31st. So we have a long season. Uh, we can pretty much trap most of the winter. And uh, I'm excited. Uh, last year, we tried eating raccoon for the first time. I have to say, it wasn't great. But I don't think it had a whole lot to do with the meat itself. I think it had more to do with the way that we prepared it. So this year, we've come up with some new, we've done some research, and I think we're gonna do a better job. So we're gonna give it another try, and we're gonna do it so that you guys can watch and see what we think about it. So um, let's talk about the two different kinds of traps. So the first trap that I have is a store-bought trap. Uh, this is a have a heart, easy set trap. Now, I really like this. Uh, because it's easy. Uh, I can take it out to the woods and literally just set this trap. The only thing I need to do is pull back on that handle, put my bait inside, and it's all set. Um, it's really that easy. It's also easy to clean, uh, being all metal, uh, and it, it's just a good all-around trap. It seems to be very effective. I've used it a couple times already uh, over the summer when we had a problem with some raccoons getting in by our chickens. Um, and it seems to be a very effective trap. Um, now the downsides to this, first of all, is the price. Uh, these traps uh, are anywhere from 50 to $75 uh, on Amazon. Um, you know, which, you know, if you're buying multiples of them, really starts to add up. So uh, that's definitely the biggest drawback is the price. Now I've bought less expensive uh, traps as well, and I have to say, they're not worth the, the they're not worth the savings. Uh, if you're gonna spend the money on a trap, uh, the Have a Heart brand really makes a good product, and I would recommend going that route uh, versus the cheaper ones from like I, I bought one from Harbor Freight, and I think I had five raccoons in a row be able to escape from it. So I just basically threw it away and stopped using it. So I'm just out that money. I would have been better off spending a little more and getting a trap that actually holds the animal. Now. Um, when we uh, set these traps for raccoons tonight, uh, what I'm going to do is I will set this, I'll use a combination of cat food and marshmallows. Uh, raccoons love marshmallows. It's by far been the most successful bait for me uh, for getting uh, raccoons into the trap. Now let's take a look at the homemade trap. All right, so for my homemade trap, um, the, the best thing about this trap is the price. Um, I made this just out of scrap lumber that I had laying around. Uh, I made this uh, last winter and I've caught, you know, several animals in it. So um, it, it, is, it does work. Um, I would say it's probably not as effective as the store-bought trap just because of the way that the animal needs to trigger it. Uh, but I decided that this winter I'm going to do uh, kind of a test where I set them both at the same time in areas that I know have uh, raccoons around uh, because I've seen them on my trail cameras from deer hunting and so I'm going to set both traps with the same bait and see which one does better at actually catching and holding the animals. Let me show you how this homemade trap works. So it's basically a box uh, that I've made out of two by twos and plywood um, and then I just put some uh, screen on the sides um, that will be able to hold the animal in, but it allows airflow so that they can see and smell the bait inside the trap. The trap works on a lever principle, so the front door slides up and down. And I have a stick you can either make, or you can, if you're lucky enough to find one that's the right size, uh, you can just use a stick that you find. And basically this stick will hold that front door open. And then here in the top of the trap is a hole. This other stick goes in that hole. And creates a fulcrum to hold the door open. Once it's set, 
Uh, the way that this works is that you put your bait back here behind this stick, and when the animal goes inside the trap to get the bait, uh, they accidentally run into the stick, and when they do, the front door shuts, and they're trapped inside. Uh, this front door is pretty heavy, um, and there's nothing for them to grip onto to be able to lift it up and get back out. Uh, so it works really well. Now, there are some pretty major drawbacks uh, that I have found with this type of trap. Um, first of all, um, the fact that the animal has to hit this stick in order to trigger it uh, is a drawback. Uh, I've had animals actually be able to go around and get the uh, bait out without hitting the stick. Uh, and then of course, they get a free dinner and I don't get an animal. Uh, another drawback is that sometimes this is, you know, not the most stable thing, and if it's a windy night, sometimes the wind will just blow it all over and the trap will set off with nothing inside of it. And then the last major drawback is the door itself. When you set the trap, if you don't have the door perfect as far as straight up and down and away from the sides, when it starts to fall, it'll bind up and it'll either, it'll either fall very slow and allow the animal to get out, or it'll bind up all together and it won't fall at all. Um, but, like I said, this trap cost me basically nothing because it was just spare parts that I had laying around. So I can spend 50 to $75 on a store-bought trap that I know will pretty much get the animal every time, or I can, you know, make one that may, may be less effective but cost me nothing. So you guys, uh, that's what I wanted to show you today is what I'm up to as far as trapping season getting underway. Um, I'm gonna set both of these traps this evening. I'm gonna put them again in areas where I know that I've seen some raccoons uh, and that way we can give, hopefully get a true test of which one is more effective. Um, I'm gonna uh, film over the next week. Uh, I'll film myself going to check them each morning and I'll post another video next week uh, with the results of which one has worked out better. Uh, and then, assuming we at least get one raccoon over the next week, uh, we'll be doing a video on how to uh, prepare and eat a raccoon. Uh, I know that's scary for a lot of people, um, but again, I think we've got a better idea this year of how to prepare it, and I think it's gonna be a good meal for the family. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Uh, if you have any questions or if you have made uh, similar traps or have uh, experienced trapping, or leave a comment below. I'd be happy to uh, uh, chat with you. You guys, until next time, thanks for stopping by the homestead, and God bless.